So basically, we're just gonna do a, 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 a top five photo shoot etiquette, guys. We're gonna run you guys through some photo shoot etiquette. I've already said a lot. I'm just trying to make it in what my head. What is up, you guys? Man, it's your boy, Taxi and Lens, man. We're back at again with yet another one. This is a Q&A type sesh video. Um, so, man, we're just kind of going to just hop on into it. So today, it is the top five things you need to know before going to a photo shoot. Top five things, man. Not even the top five things you need to know. I feel like the top five things that you should keep in mind when, um, when booking or going to a photo shoot. It's proper etiquette we have. We have a lot, a lot of different things. So guys, make sure that when you're on your way to go to a photo shoot with whoever your photographer is, make sure that you're very much prepared. Make sure that you have your makeup done. Make sure you have your hair, your nails, everything done. Even if you have some form of, form of press-ons, it's really good. It helps us out when it comes down time to, um, so number one would be preparation. Make sure you're prepared, right? So when it comes down to hair, nails, anything just make sure that you're prepared a lot of the times um us as photographers will have oil for you we may have lotion we may have some hair stuff maybe have comb but a lot of photographers don't so you can't necessarily bank on that so you kind of want to just make sure that you're prepared um in that sense if you have press on nails press on nails help a lot even if you don't have your nails done but you put some press on nails girl when i tell you that would help a lot because it, when we're when we're editing in photoshop we could do a lot with those nails now before if you guys just have like you know don't have your nails done or your nails are looking some type of way or they don't look good or you're missing a few pinkies you know what i'm saying it's harder for us and it's harder for you to get your photos back faster because that's the end goal. You want to get your photos back faster. You want to have a, um, be satisfied with your shoe, right? So that will make the job a lot easier. Preparation as well as making sure your hair is done, making sure your hair is good, making sure your lace is laid, child, okay? That will help a lot as well um, us for as, as far as photographers. And as far as makeup, you guys, so basically we're just going to do a, 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 a top five photo shoot etiquette guys we're gonna run you guys through some photo shoot etiquette i've already said a lot i'm just trying to make it in my head to what i'm really going to title this video because i don't be knowing sometimes but i like to give you guys the content that you guys want and that you guys are asking for so yeah but it's nice real raw content over here taxi in the lens there's a whole lot of gas we're gonna make it happen and we're gonna keep that gas tank pumping makeup make sure that your makeup is not necessarily done like if you're a person who doesn't use a lot of makeup, it's cool, you know what I'm saying, it's okay. If you're a person with acne or something of, of that nature and you know that you want your skin uber smooth when it comes down to editing with the photographer, just make sure that you like at least brush up your face a little bit because we could do a lot, but when it comes down to like the editing, that is a premium edit for us as photographers. That's not necessarily the base color correction, the skin tone editing and the retouching of your skin. There's a lot deeper that we have to go through to go into that and then that may get you upcharged. So just like that to help you as a model and to help you as a photographer, if you're trying to think about these steps, if you're watching the video um, for these steps, for if you're watching the video for these steps to of things that you may want to put into your policy, or things that you want to tell your model before that. So I try to make a lot of content for models and photographers to help um, and, and, um, educate a lot of us, like especially like a lot of us visual artists, I make content for that as well. But majority of the content I've been making right now has been specifically skewed towards models and photographers. Speaking of models and photographers, I have an ebook coming out going to both of you guys. It's, based, it's really dedicated to you guys. Models and photographers are gonna be $20, y'all. $20, you can get a hardcover copy, or you can get a, you can get a paperback, or you can get an ebook. The ebook come out first, but y'all gotta let me know that y'all want the hard copies for the hard copies to come out. Cause the first the ebook gonna come out. The hard copy gonna be like five, ten more dollars. Cause you're getting a hard cover. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, you know, yeah. When well, we got that coming out, um, that's basically gonna help you guys as far as like um posing. I'm gonna have 101 poses in there. Okay, 101 poses. I do a lot of pose videos, and y'all be eating up these pose videos. So I'm like, let me just put all of the poses that I use because I can't put all of my poses in the videos. Like, I could, but you want it? You want a four-hour video? Come on, like that's too long. So, I want to help models and photographers. You know what I'm saying? So, helping you guys with like building a better relationship, building a better rapport, building a better business status as well. Getting back to it, another form of preparation would be making sure your clothes fit. Like, I feel like that's very like like. I feel like that's very like, it doesn't, I feel like it sounds like, oh, duh. I feel like it sounds like like a cliche, like like an obvious type thing, but a lot of people don't. A lot of people will order their stuff and wait until the day that they shoot to, to try to see if their clothes fit. 
And it's like, you would think that you would try that prior, or you would think that you wanted to, you know, see if it fit prior. Like, why are you waiting till day of? Because now it's time for you to shoot, and now you're at the shoot, and now you're stuck because your clothes doesn't fit, or your top is bigger than you expected it to be, or whatever, you know what I mean? And ordering things in advance also comes with that preparation of making sure your clothes fit. If you order something and it comes the day of your photo shoot, you didn't properly plan, you know what I mean? That's not proper photo shoot etiquette. Um, something else would be, I was like, if you know that you have, I, I, the way that I said it was, if you know that you have bad acne and you want the photographer to like uber smooth your face, like try to touch up your face as much as you can to cover some of those pores. Because when it comes time for the photographer to edit, that's more so a premium edit and that may end up, that may end up getting you upcharged rather than a basic edit, a base edit um, which would just be skin skin retouching, like base skin retouching, um, color tones, and and and, and, and like and um, body shaping. But the premium edit is like us going in and like really like dodge and burning, doing all of that other stuff. But it's like that's a premium edit. Now you might get upcharged because like if you would have just patted your face with a little bit of makeup or good enough, then it's like oh, okay. Because people come like will come full acne out, and it's like that. Like it's not. I don't have. It's not a problem, but it's like. When it comes down to time to editing, and then you want your pictures back in two days, like three days, but it's like I gotta go over every single pore. You know what I mean? But it's like if you did like put some makeup on it, it would make it look like, I've, I've seen it happen. Like, I've seen it where like people have very, very bad face, but then they like, they pat it up or like powder or whatever, just to make sure. I think it's justifiable. But, um, skirt! I'm probably gonna put that conversation in there too, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, guys, you know what I'm saying? I don't. I'm Taxi. Taxi Nolan says what he want to say, and you guys watch it, so it means you guys must like me or something. But proper hygiene, you know what I'm saying? Proper hygiene. I feel like I feel like we all know. I don't think I have to go too deep into depth with that, but just you know, make sure your hygiene's up to par. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I carry aerosols. You know what I'm saying? I, I have the female aerosols. You know what I'm saying? And you know, see, you need a little spray spray. I got cans on cans on cans, but you just real quick. You know what I'm saying? I got male aerosols too. I got that X. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, nah, in all seriousness, though, proper hygiene does help as well because it, it helps you, it helps the photographer, it helps the whole chemistry of the shoot go a lot better because, like, you don't want anyone looking at you negatively and then you don't want, like, you just you just want everything to go smoothly. And I feel like that also adds to that as well. Um, on the other note, as far as, like, being prepared um, for the model, I would say for photographers, make sure you guys are set, like not necessarily like set all the way up, but just make sure your card's formatted, make sure you're set up, make sure you know that you know how to use your lights, make sure that they're set in like relatively the right places because we end up moving our lights a lot. So if you set your lights in the relatively the right place, you shouldn't have to move it too much when it comes time to shoot other than just your main key light or your main flash, like strobe, you know what I'm saying? So other than your speed light, other than that, like you shouldn't really have to move too much around. Make sure you're, Studio's clean, like make sure it's nice and like well kept so that way like, that's also proper etiquette, like you know, photo shoot etiquette for it. When the model comes, like you want to give them a good experience, you want great reviews, you want them to recommend you to someone else, right? So you have to set up your studio in a certain way to where it's respectable because your studio is a representation of you and how you look. So if your studio doesn't look good, then how do you look? How do you think you look, you know? So I just, I just feel like that's another that's another thing that I would say um, as far as proper um, photo photo shoot etiquette. Um, I'd also say make sure your batteries are charged because a lot of the time you might forget you might have had a shoot yesterday and you don't forgot to charge the battery. Now your whole shoot's pushed back because of you, and you never want to be the reason that the shoot's pushed back. As a photographer, you don't want to be the reason that that shoot is pushed back because now it looks bad on you, like very bad, like really bad, like for real bad. You know what I'm saying? And you don't want that to be the case. You know. Oh, I would also say another thing is too, like going over, going over poses, you know what I mean? Like, even if you have an idea of some poses in your head, this is for photographers and models, you know what I mean? Ebook coming soon. There, like, make sure that you have poses in mind that you would like to recreate. Poses that are like, either whether, whether it's 10 screenshots on your phone, whether it's you just scrolling through Pinterest. Pinterest is a great app, I can show you guys some really good ways to utilize Pinterest to get exactly what you want and different ways to word the different prompts for Pinterest to really find exactly what you want because a lot of time you'll, you'll put photography poses and then it really won't come up, which is why I'm putting together a guide for you guys with all the all the, all the the good right poses, you know what I mean? You got a series coming. I'm gonna keep on plug plugging it out there. That ebook's coming real soon, you know what I mean? But 
Yeah, in all seriousness, man, um, you just want to have those in your in your head. Even like if you know you're going to do a certain type of shoot as a photographer or as a model, you want to make sure that you have certain poses that would fit the look of that shoot in your head, in your mind already already cooking up like okay i know i'm gonna be able to do this i know i'm gonna do this i know i'm gonna make this happen you know what i mean or i know i'm gonna have her going this way or oh this is my favorite pose that i always do like mine is the legs crossed with the uh that's my favorite pose to do bro like to have shot to shoot it's just so elegant it shows curvature all of that that's gonna be featured in the ebook <laughs> all right i'm gonna stop for real man but yeah, man, proper, 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 proper photo shoot etiquette, man. That's all I got to say. Uh, I might have another. If you guys want a part two to this video, let me know. I'm trying to make this one relatively short so that I could chop it up, 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 chop it up and get it out to y'all, man. But that's all. That's it. We're out.